so welcome back guys uh, this is madhav pvil and now we are going to discuss about some of the basic algorithms which we need to learn uh, and these algorithms are regarding the reading and writing of the disk blocks so now the first one is the bread algorithm so uh, if we just get into this bread algorithm this is nothing but uh, checking for the data uh, or we can just say like uh, something which is referred to buffer so get buffer for block uh, we can just use the algorithm get blk so get blk is an algorithm which is used to get buffer for a particular block if the buffer data is valid then we need to just return the buffer to that particular uh, uh, code so we need buffer because some code is trying to just gain some access to particular data structure so in that data structure they need some data which is in some physical space so instead of using that physical space we use uh, something like a cache memory so in that cache memory uh, it will just store some data which is very recently used so that is nothing but a buffer so if that buffer data is valid valid in the sense the data which is uh, asked by that particular code if it is equal to the data which is in the buffer then we can just say like buffer data is valid if the buffer data is valid then we can just uh, return the buffer saying that uh, here is your data you can just take it so we are just returning uh, buffer we are just returning the data uh, initiate the screed uh, sleep uh, else so this is the else condition so until here it is if condition and here comes the else so here comes the else condition so the else condition is initiate discrete so why discrete if the data is not present in that particular buffer bu bu we need to just give the data to that particular data structure so uh, for for that purpose uh, we can't do anything with this cache memory so we need to just get inside the disk blocks and we need to just initiate the discrete so if we just initiate the discrete uh, then sleep even discrete complete so after the discreting is completed then we can just put that uh, discreting uh, Uh, the discreting works to just sleep so we can just uh, keep that event to sleep after the discreting is completed then we need to just return the buffer to that particular data structure after reading the particular data from the discrete so only up to here this uh, is the main concern of the bread algorithm only until here Uh, more than this uh, uh, bread algorithm doesn't care so it cares only about the uh, data which is in a buffer if it is not there it will just initiate the discrete and it will just complete the reading of the disk and then gives that uh, particular data which is required so kernel initiates the discrete only if the data is not found in the buffer pool we had just discussed it this is the code which is regarding the buffer pool and this is regarding the discrete so if if, if and only if it is uh, not having the data in that particular buffer then only it is going to read that particular disk so kernel will not allow to read the disk if the data is already present in that particular buffer so kernel schedules a read request to disk controller so scheduling process is done here to just read something in a disk so if higher level algorithm comes then kernel may also require the next disk block to be read so here it is reading only one block one particular blo block is readed with this bread algorithm so if some higher level algorithm in the sense something which is more complicated than this so something which is more complicated than this system calls are called then we need to just get the data uh, of that next disk block also to be read so for that reason we have this uh, bread a algorithm that is bread ahead bread ahead algorithm bread a algorithm so we will uh, see this also bread a algorithm so what is bread a algorithm uh, here we can just see if the first block is not in cache so if the first block of the memory is not in this particular cache memory then get buffer for the first block uh, if uh, here we can just say like if we need to just get that buffer for the first block uh, if the first block is not in the cache that in the sense uh, here we can just say like uh, in the cache memory the data which is required by the first block is not present 
then if we just get into this get buffer for the first block then it will just again get come back here from for this bread algorithm in this bread algorithm here we can just say like uh, uh, the data is not there in this uh, particular buffer so it will just initiate the discrete so discrete it will just initiate the discrete if the buffer is not valid it will just initiate the discrete so get buffer for the first block uh, if the buffer is not present then it will just initiate the discrete so if the second block is not in the catchy uh, catch the get buffer for the second block so it will just get the buffer for the second block if the buffer data is valid then it will just release the buffer that in the sense uh, if the second block uh, catch buffer is valid then it will just release the buffer that it will just return the buffer else it will again initiate the discrete discrete is the main cause only when the data is not present in that particular buffer or in that particular catch memory so only it is possible if it is not present in that particular catch memory if the first block uh, was in catch if it is directly in that catch memory then read the first block written buffer the, uh, the uh, process will be completed this is a very basic one so that's why we had just returned this at the last so that if the data is already present in that particular first block then it will just read that particular first block and return the buffer so these are the two conditions if it is not present in that particular catch memory so this is a bread ahead algorithm going into the second block of that particular thing so if uh, everything is not possible that in the sense uh, whole the catch is busy uh, the os is busy or we can just say like the disk readers are busy so everything is busy in that particular operating system then we need to just keep this process in a sleep until uh, first buffer contains valid so this is uh, for the purpose of uh, Lo this is for the logical purpose so this sleep condition is nothing but it will just keep the uh, it will just keep the process sleep for some time to just get that particular uh, thing to again run so it will just return the buffer after uh, the sleeping is completed so this is all about the bread ahead algorithm it will be a bit complex but if you read it uh, with a clarity then you may just get some clarity so b write algorithm so b write algorithm uh, initiate the disk write so it will a b write algorithm is used for the purpose of writing writing in the disk b write algorithm is only for the purpose of writing in the disk so it will just initialize the disk write if io synchronize synchronous is nothing but if the io is busy with some particular work then uh, uh, it will just put the even sleep until the IO gets free. So release the buffer. Uh, initiate disk write is nothing but uh, the data which is taken to that particular buffer will be rewritten in that particular disk. So for the purpose of the catch memory, we will just uh, write some of the disk data into that particular catch buffer. So if that catch buffer uh, work is completed, that in the sense, uh, if there is no use with that particular catch buffer, then we need to just return back that particular data to that disk, right? So we will just initialize, initialize the disk, right? So if the IO is busy, then it will just sleep until the IO gets free and it will just release the buffer. That in the sense, uh, it will just keep the buffer aside until the IO gets uh, free. So that uh, some of the process may use that particular buffer uh, in the meantime. So it will not just carry the buffer with itself until the IO will just give its free time. So else if buffer marked for the delayed write, uh, mark buffer to put ahead of the f free list. Uh, this is in the sense uh, the IO uh, operating systems input output sometimes say that I will just write the data some other time so that uh, the data which is in that particular buffer will be uh, uh, driven to some temporary buffer uh, to some temporary buffer the data will be driven to that some temporary buffer and this buffer will just uh, attach it to the head of that particular free list so this buffer which is being used will be attached to the head of the free list and the temporary buffer will be a uh, delay right so it will just wait for that particular io to just perform that operation of writing back to the disk block so this may this is a little messy this algorithm but uh, if you just put some uh, little attention you may just get something so these three algorithms are uh, about reading and writing of the disk blocks so these plays a crucial role so thank you for watching